Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel and also for the better channel, which is the build 22610. We passed the 600 mark, so now Microsoft released a new build that has some interesting improvements and changes, and of course, a lot of fixes that were applied to this build. As always, in this video, we're gonna talk about all of these, but before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe for the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's continue with the video first of all in this build what you're going to notice is that we no longer have the windows 11 dev build watermark i'm not really sure why microsoft decided to remove that watermark but maybe that is because this version is really close to be one of the final versions for the 22h2 version of windows 11 and maybe in the near future microsoft will start working on a future windows 11 version which is kind of interesting of course this is only my opinion so make sure to leave your opinion down below in the comments as well Microsoft is adding some additional new MDM and group policies for IT administrators and of course all of these can be found in the local group policy editor then user configuration administrative templates start menu and taskbar basically Microsoft is introducing these new policies so that IT administrators can simplify their Windows 11 experience across start taskbar and the system tray and in this list from the right side we're going to be able to find disable quick settings flyout disable notification center and calendar flyouts disable all taskbar settings disable search hide task view from taskbar block customization of pinned in taskbar hide recommended in taskbar which is actually interesting disable start context menu and hide all apps in start in this build we also have some family safety widgets updates which has a new location sharing view and also an update for people in a member role which includes an improved view of your screen time use across apps and devices of course more info about this on the microsoft blog that you can find the link to in the article down below in the description let's talk about some changes and improvements now windows 11 home edition dev and beta channels builds no longer enable the smb1 client by default if you have installed smb1 manually or upgraded from a previous version of windows where smb1 was installed upgrading to the latest dev and beta channel build will not remove smb1 of course, more information in the article down below in the description about this topic. As Microsoft updated the battery icon in the taskbar a few builds ago, they also applied this new design on the lock screen, and that is pretty cool. And if your PC supports it, Microsoft will now show estimated battery life timing in the tooltip for the battery icon in the system tray with the most recent Insider preview builds. And also, Microsoft is stating that the watermark will return in a future build, for those of you wondering about that. Regarding the taskbar, as a result of feedback from Windows Insiders, Microsoft disabled the Tablet Optimized Taskbar feature that first began rolling out to Windows Insiders in the build 22563. And they are hoping to bring this feature back in the future after further refinement of the experience. Regarding widgets, Microsoft is announcing that the changes in widgets that bring more dynamic content to your widgets board announced with the build 22563 is rolling out to more Windows Insiders in the dev and the beta channels. And the biggest change or improvement so far in this build is that Microsoft updated the task manager so that in the processes page the colors used in the heat map are now based on your accent color and that is really good this really improves the design of the task manager but Microsoft is also noting that in certain cases they will use the default blue accent color to ensure readability that is also really good and of course you can try out this with different colors so I'm just gonna go into personalize and then to colors and let's test out a few colors and as you can see everything is changing right away with the colors that we are choosing of course if we are going to use certain colors that are not good for readability Microsoft will automatically use the default blue accent but I think this is really really nice regarding the file explorer Microsoft updated the rename properties and optimize icon so as you can see we have the new rename icon and also the properties icon which is really good and also a few other icons throughout the file explorer were changed and of course that brings up a nice new design to the file explorer in settings your phone now shows as phone link under settings and bluetooth devices and of course your phone is now phone link as microsoft announced a few builds ago and regarding other changes based on feedback from windows and Saturn, microsoft is rolling back the change originally documented with the build 22557 where tkip and wep connections were no longer allowed now let's talk about 
some fixes that I find quite interesting. First of all, Microsoft fixed the issue causing Windows installers running Windows 10 who were trying to join the dev or the beta channels to encounter a download error code 0xc8402 while trying to download the latest build. And of course, if you experience this issue, you'll need to install the update KB5011831 and then try to download the latest build from either the dev or the beta channels. A lot of fixes were also applied to the taskbar, of course, some shortcuts that were not running and also some icon animations that were bugged. That is really good. And the same can be applied for the file explorer as Microsoft, as I've said, updated some icons and also some design things. That is also really nice. And also some changes were applied to the settings app, small bugs and stuff like that that were fixed. And that is really good because this version of the Windows 11 operating system is getting better and better. As with every build, we have tons of fixes, but if you want to see the whole list of fixes and see if your problem was fixed, make sure to check out the article down below in the description from the itstickbase.com website to see the full list of fixes that were applied in this build. So this is the build for today, the build 22610. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. It was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.